So one thing I know for certain is everyone thinks they have the best Owen class when it comes to Warzone. And sometimes you can be wrong and right at the exact same time because there's a lot of different variables, especially when you take a deeper look at the Owen gun and what's going to differentiate it from one person liking a particular class setup over another, whether it's Rebirth Island, Standard Battle Royale Caldera because of the extra 50 health or Iron Trials, which has even more health than that. And on top of that, if you aim for the chest or make a conscious effort to aim for the head that will impact your class setup then your skill level also comes into play and we're going to go ahead and break down all the different scenarios what we can see here is when i asked over on twitter is that everyone has their class setup that they like and nobody really has the exact same class setup so if you're kind of unsure what you want to run on your class setup i'm going to go ahead and break that all down for you and just a heads up i have partnered with scuff and i've been using the brand new ps5 reflex controller for about a month now i did use up in the past and I now am partnered with them so if you've been looking to get a brand new controller the link is near the top of the description let's get into the breakdown so there's a bunch of numbers depending on what mode you play and which attachments you want to use whether you want to use a barrel or no barrel or the Gorenko rounds, or the Kurz rounds, or the 9mm rounds, or the Rapid Barrel, or a Suppressor, or Length, like there's a lot of different variables, and not to bore you with all those details, but one of the most important parts is what you'll see on the screen is the actual three attachment setup, how that impacts the rate of fire, because that also contributes to a miss penalty, and essentially, the timing between shots is how much you're penalized, and the slower the weapon it fires, the longer that space is before you're able to hit that follow-up shot after a miss. Depending on your skill level, if you're missing more often, you're going to be penalized even harder because if you look at an example where you get a miss penalty of 120 milliseconds, you miss two shots. That's a quarter second or almost a quarter second versus if you have a very fast fire rate of something like the PPSH or the MAC-10, you end up with these incredibly small miss penalties and that's kind of what makes those guns favorable even if they don't have the fastest TTK. So you got to factor a lot into that. Obviously, you can kind of see how the recoil holds up about 15 meters, and that's really going to determine how you handle engagements. If uh, most of these have a, around a 17 meter drop off, some of them are 14 and some of them are 20. So you got to kind of factor those into your overall preferences. But when it comes to it, at the end of the day, you want to focus on what is going to give you the most reliable and consistent TTKs. And that's one of the problems with a site like Sim or even true game data is if you're not using the advanced calculator to determine the shot locations. Because if something does 50 damage, that means that at 250 damage required to down someone, that means you have to land five shots and 100% have to land in that specific area. Even if you hit a hand or a limb or a stomach, then that TTK in automatically increases and you get an inconsistency. So there's a lot of variables you got to consider, but obviously you're going to go ahead and kind of experiment. I will try and guide you the direction that makes the most sense and what makes the most sense with the numbers, but I thought I'd go over those different variables. ADS speed is also important. Movement while strafing speed, and that's one thing that these guns really struggle with compared to to the Cold War guns, which were kind of cracked out on movement. You kind of move at two meters per second laterally or strafing. You get closer to three meters per second when you use something like the OTS. So even though statistically it doesn't kill faster than the Owen gun, you're going to have way more maneuverability and be able to finesse opponents where they're going to miss a shot because you have a slower rate of fire on the Owen gun versus something like 900, 800 of these faster firing SMGs. So you get penalized much harder. And obviously you have that big bulky thing that blocks quarter of the screen. So you got a lot of different variables to consider, but at the end of the day, let's go ahead and break down the individual builds that we're going to be looking at. So the first column is all Rebirth Island. The second column is all Caldera, um, regular Battle Royale. And then the third column is Iron Trials. You can see they're highlighting kind of like this lighter blue color. Um, those ones will be the ones that I would probably recommend for those individual modes because of the way the TTKs fall out. So one thing that a lot of people have been asking me for is the No Barrel Recoil Booster Curse, which comes with the 60 round mag. Um, this thing, if you land one chest, shot out of the six you're gonna get a 580 ttk pretty realistic if for some reason your shot's all wonky you don't hit any of the chests your ttk is atrocious at almost 700 um, if you land three out of the five shots to the chest then you can get a 464 ttk which is a huge difference there if you're not getting 60 percent of your shots to the chest or higher so there can be inconsistency if 
you are hitting those on a regular basis because you're highly skilled or you aim high or whatever the case is, this might move up and make more sense for Rebirth Island. When it comes to these other ones, you only need three out of six, so a little bit harder to do, but two will get you in the money at almost 700 TTK. And that's kind of what we're looking at here. And that's kind of why I've highlighted certain ones because you're getting a very consistent and realistic TTK for your individual weapon. And that's what's important. Um, because a weapon can go 800 to the toe and 300 to the chest, oh my God, it's amazing. You see that 300 TTK build? Well, it requires you to get four out of six shots to the chest. If you don't do that, the gun is complete garbage. And you'll probably lose a gunfight. But if you do, then you never lose. So it's kind of like that risk reward. If you play with that style, get lucky. If you want inconsistent gunfights, there it goes, right? It's kind of one of those things. The opponent you're going against, sometimes they'll delete you. Sometimes they're going to miss. If you're moving a lot, they might hit limbs and automatically you're deleting them because the gun turns into potato um, with a slower rate of fire. So that's kind of what's kind of always lean me towards even the same builds. Um, and with the nerf to that rapid fire barrel and a couple of the other things, they've kind of bridged the gap. So now there's more builds versus there was only like one or two really, really good Owen class builds. Um, in terms of the, the barrel, muzzle, and, and magazine. Now you got like seven, depending on which mode you're playing. And I, I still kind of lean towards the rapid recoil booster with the Garenko because this consistent TTK of 539 up close in Rebirth is really good. The same thing goes for the Caldera 616. And this is shooting the limb. So you're always going to get this relatively good TTK. If you manage to get a neck a shot or a head shot or five chest shots, which are all pretty practical, your TTK is 462. So it's not hard to accomplish that. The, a lot of people argue with the nine millimeter because they only think they land 100% of chest shots, but you need three head or chest shots out of the six. So 50% of your shots need to do that for 475, which can be good for good players. But if you're hitting too many limbs, uh, the TTK drops off. It's still 570, but that TTK ends up being slower than the toe damage. So it really comes down to how accurate you're going to be in those areas. There's a lot of good classes with the Owen gun, and it really comes down to where you're at, how the penalty affects you. If you care about the slower aim down sight time of these particular builds with the Garenko and the nine millimeter, more power to you, right? So if you're interested in how your stacks up, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down really quick so you could take a quick screenshot or pause the video, but let's go ahead and get into the class setups and the builds that I would recommend. So three builds that I would recommend are this particular one, which is the recoil booster, rapid barrel, the NIDAR or whatever optic you wanna use. If you wanna use the adjustable one so you can lower it and then it opens your field of view, you can do that. Remove stock, acrobatic, quick, fabric, or you can go ahead and go polymer. That'll help with a little bit of the recoil control. Hand stop, lengthen. Um, you could go subsonic if you feel like you don't really want to use this for medium range at all. Um, you don't want to hurt your bullet registration. Subsonic could be another way to go. So for these examples, the only other swaps I'm going to do are for the rapid barrel and for the magazines. And this one works for all modes as an SMG. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and swap this, we could also swap this to the nine millimeter, which also works for all modes. It's just gotta be aware of making sure you land at least three of those chest shots or headshots to secure that faster TTK that will actually make it feel melty. And then we can go actually with the no barrel option, um, which sounds a little bit odd, but you get a significantly faster aim down sight. Then we go with the Kurz round. This one I really wouldn't use in Rebirth, but this one works great in Caldera as well as Iron Trials. So that gives you three options to kind of really play with and kind of keep it as simple as possible. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.